Well, hi everyone. I'm Vicki and welcome back to my kitchen and I have a quick tip for you today. Okay, I tried an experiment and my friends said if it worked to let them know. So it worked amazing, so I'm letting you know. All right, I have Myers lemon tree in my yard. And you know, the lemons are around November, December coming in, and I have lots of beautiful lemons, and then they're gone. Well, I always have too many lemons, and I've tried everything, like taking the juice out of them and freezing the juice and, and all. But I decided to freeze the whole lemons. Now, y'all, yes, my lemons are huge. These are lemons, not oranges. And these are my last, actually, four that I have. And these are frozen solid. And what I did was just take them off the tree. Don't wash them. Just take a dry paper towel or cloth and wipe them off and put them in your freezer just like that. Now, I took this one out and thawed it this morning. And the only thing I'm noticing is it doesn't give me quite as much zest, but it actually gives me more fruit. Um, I wanted to zest it real quick and let you see and, and take the juice out. But this is a frozen, this was frozen this morning. But I love the fact that it's my tree. I know what's on it. Um, I know it hadn't had any pesticides or anything put on it. It hadn't had anything to ripen it or change the colors. It's just all natural off of my tree. And, and in our area, North uh, Florida and South Georgia, a lot of us have lemon trees and lime trees. Well, and I'm always buying a bag of lemons or a bag of limes, and they go bad. Um, so if I have to buy at the grocery store, then I can just throw them in the freezer. But remember, don't wash them first. That's kind of a secret. Washing them makes the peelings kind of crystallize and the and they will split. So um, these aren't split. They're nice and frozen and solid and they stay together um, while you're getting them ready. Now, I use a lot of things where I need zest, the lemon zest. So, like I said, the only thing I've noticed is it doesn't give me quite as much zest as the fresh lemon. But it makes up for that in juice because, boy, does it really give me the juice. And as big as my lemons are, it gives me plenty of zest. That's probably about maybe a tablespoon. So, okay, let's see how much juice it is. One lemon. Got to grab a mat. And I needed lemons for the lemon, and today it's going to be blackberry swirl cheesecake that I'm making today. Now I'll be making a video on that. So if you're interested in lemon blackberry swirl cheesecake, check out my other videos. Y'all look at how clean the lemon is.
and it tastes just like I went out and picked it off the tree, which is amazing. I know sometimes I'll get lemons or limes at the grocery store. They really don't have a lot of flavor. They're just a little bitter, and they don't have good flavor. So this way, I can put mine in the freezer. You can put yours in the freezer. One lemon. Let's see how much. Almost a half a cup. Right under a half a cup for one lemon. Y'all, that's amazing. So that's my quick tip today. Um, our juicer zester is in the catalog if you're interested. And... You can now freeze your lemons and limes. Just remember the trick. Don't wash them beforehand. Put them in um, a bag. This is a little, um, our little storage bags. And I just put them all in my freezer in that. And every time I needed them, I just reach in there and grab them. And I'm about to be out. Three left now. All right. Come back to see me. Give someone your beautiful smile today. And let me know if you like this tip. Be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And like my Facebook page as well. See you later. Bye.